guys we are finally in the apartment oh my god it is so beautiful let me give you a tour got this lovely living room with a balcony mirror little walk-in kitchen over here got the fridge it's literally only like two bottles of wine in there and then we've got this room don't watch the maths you know when you see a made-up bed and all you want to do is just jump in it let me show you guys the balcony because it is stunning so this is the balcony and guys look at the view look at that absolutely stunning i'm so excited to drink wine out here listen to music oh that motorway ain't looking so pretty but let's just admire the view here okay stunning water buildings i'm absolutely terrible guys i am the worst vlogger in the world i plan to vlog my entire trip to dubai and it was an absolute fail it started off really well actually i was like recording little clips here and there and then i would like end a clip and realize oh my god i forgot to follow up because i was having genuinely so much fun i did get a couple of clips from the infaminous perfumery and clo which i'm going to insert shortly and i'll add a couple of other clips here and there but guys this is going to be literally the worst vlog you're ever going to see in your life good afternoon guys so um firstly i have to apologize <laughs> Obviously, this is just the worst vlog that you guys are ever gonna watch. So I didn't even update you guys with how I got on at the arts club yesterday. I wasn't even allowed to film in there, guys. I really want to show you guys all of the food. We went to the arts club, we got a little bit turn. Then we went to like this club, this random club that reminded me of Carnival. I'm like so tired. We literally didn't get back until about 6 a.m. guys. But guys, the shenanigans must continue because now I'm about to head out to Dubai Mall to go and see all of the perfumes. I'm just gonna place myself here because I realized that I was probably like shaking the camera a lot. But yeah, we're gonna jump in a taxi. We're gonna go to Dubai Mall. I'm so, so excited to smell all of the flavors. I bet everyone over there is gonna smell so fantastic. And um, I don't know what fragrance I'm gonna wear today. I wanna wear something quite light. But look who it is. Look who it is, it's Lexi! Turn up. How was last night, Lexi? Tell everyone. Oh my gosh. It was so good. It was so, so good. What time did we get home? <laughs> Don't ask that question. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so we're gonna jump in the taxi now. We're feeling all bougie. We got our cute dresses on. And um, yeah, I'll take you guys with me. I'll show you any fragrances that I fall absolutely head over heels with. Um, and then once we get back, we're going to get ready for dinner. So I'll see you at Dubai Mall. Bye. How sexy she looks. Look how sexy she my best friend looks, please. Like, come on. Come on, work it. Ay. Ay. <laughs> Lord of mercy. The lighting is a little bit dead. So my center today is Nishane Ali. Right, so we're gonna need an impression of Georgia Cat. Can I go to go? If she can't come yet, yeah, get into it yet. Yeah. Hey. If she go to church yet, yeah, get into it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, so far I've tried these four and this one is my favorite. So I got to try this beautiful brand. There's a lot of like dark oriental fragrances here. I think my favorite had to be this one. Absolute stunner. I'm literally having the time of my life, guys. 
it is lit. We've smelt so much though, like I don't know about Lexi, but my nose is overwhelmed. It is like so overwhelming. I want to try all of the Dubai brands. I have just met another brand that I actually have got a little bit excited about. Let me show you. All of these fragrances, my favourites were Incense, Amber, Amber Woods, and this Frankincense one. Stunning. This one is such a smooth blend. This comes from the Indian part of the world. Oh yeah? Uh, uh, Washington sixty dollars for one kilo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> There's another side of the wood actually. Mm -hmm. You extract oil from this one. Yeah. And you to say it's like about twelve ml washing for how many thousand? Three to five thousand. Wow. Six uh, twelve. Okay. Just having a sense of it. Oh yes, I really want to smell this. Yeah, very very strong. Really, really. Very powerful. It's beautiful though. You can tell that that's just such pure oud. Stunning. Well, that was fun, wasn't it, Lexi? Did you enjoy yourself? Did you smell the flavours? Were the flavours good? They smelled amazing. They smelled absolutely amazing. The amount of oils that got put on us, like we just got sprayed at the left, right and centre. Which way are we going? Uh, I want to say... We're going down, we're going down. A lot of people say that the more in Dubai, people just get lost so easily so now we're lost we're trying to find our way back but yeah essentially guys I've probably spent about an hour and a half in that perfumery and co section of Dubai Mall and I'm like feeling really sad that I have to leave I just feel like I don't know I haven't smelled enough I want to smell more so I'm gonna do some research into like some niche perfume shops in Dubai where I can just be in one place and smell everything rather than be so overwhelmed with how big this place is if that makes sense and I really do like I said want to focus on like um, UAE based brands um, because you know you can get an issue in how it's like common why I said I'm not gonna bother smelling you know I did ask Dior if they had any Dubai exclusives and I've smelled them all before so yeah three two flamingo rooms this evening I have no idea what I'm gonna wear so, yeah, I will speak to you when I get back to the apartment. I'll show you what fragrance I'm gonna wear. I'll show you my outfit and everything. And then, yeah, I'll probably take you with me. I'll probably take you with me to the actual restaurant this time because, yeah, yesterday was such a fail. Okay, so we are ready and we're going out. I realized that the lighting for this, these videos has just been so, so trash, but we move. This evening, I've got side effect on layered with Nishan Nafs because why the hell not? It's so hot outside. I'm literally gonna choke everyone out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all Nishan Nafs. I haven't actually given you guys a breakdown of all the fragrances I took. So I bought Ujin Intense. Mimo Paris Sintra, Initio Side Effect, Nishane Annie. I bought Light Blue Intense and I also bought Decants of Neps. I took Raw Crown Sultan. That was actually my scent of the evening yesterday. Oh, let's put the lights on. Here we go. We're gonna call it Uber now. We're gonna go to the restaurant. I will try filming there. I'll show you what the food is like and all those things. And then we're gonna come back, drink some more wine. We've got to be up early because we've got a yacht tour in the morning and then we're going to the water park in the afternoon. But yes, for now, let me go call this Uber and I'll see you guys at the restaurant.
guys know me, you guys know that I'm obsessed with Italian food and uh, yeah, our food is literally popping up right now. Look at the view as well. Guys, so this bread bangs, but you know when you go to a restaurant and they give you butter and you're just like, can you warm up the butter a little bit? I can't even spread it on the bread. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The mall in Dubai is huge. It's the biggest mall in the world. And to be honest, I personally think that the mall is just excessively big. We got lost and the perfumery and co section is huge. Imagine the perfume salon for Harrods plus the perfumery hall like times 10. It's absolutely mental. I did discover a lot of cool brands. I really like Spirit of Dubai, but I'll be honest with you guys, I really was not wowed by any fragrances that I smelled in Dubai. Nothing compelled me to buy anything. And I don't know whether it may have been because I went there and I was just like, give me something to smell. You know when they just get a little bit too inner, like they're bare in your business, like, like it's okay, I'll spray it for you. No, I want to spray it myself. But when they do that, obviously they're just assuming that, you know, I'm probably not a seasoned perfume person and I'm just gonna want to smell like something with tuberose in it and it's just like, nah. Don't forget to leave this video a massive thumbs up and let me know all your opinions in the comment section down below. I will see you guys in the next video on Tuesday. Bye!